Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Social Quiz Dancing, our tiny little quiz to give you some trivia for the lockdown and um, keep your brain on a nice little jaunt in the evenings. Um, so, as usual, we are coming to you with 15 questions. Um, I'm going to start with five general knowledge questions, then go into five connections questions, where I give you four seemingly random clues, and you tell me what the hidden connection is. And we follow that by five questions from a special round that changes week to week. We'll take a little pause, then I'll read you the answers, um, and then we'll all go about our daily lives um, wistfully remembering the time we spent on this quiz. Okay. If you have any quiz questions you'd like me to use on the show, feel free to email them to ryan at desmondfishlibrary.org or send them uh, via DM to any of our social media accounts. Um, and of course, let us know how you're doing. Um, what's your, what do your points look like? How are you doing in the quiz? And are you enjoying it? Are there things you'd like to see, special rounds you'd like to suggest? Anything like that, so please let us know. Um, Last week we began Curbside Pickup, um, which has been going great, so you can go and get your books. This week, uh, Interlibrary Loan resumes, um, so you can get books from other libraries um, and do some research for this quiz or literally anything else in your life. Um, uh, summer Reading um, began last week and continues, so um, if you've got kids or you're a kid yourself or you just wanna read um, as a grown-up, go and pick up your summer reading calendar we're doing um, a special summer reading bingo for um, for teens and adults, where in which you can win um, if you get a bingo for various reading activities, uh, you can win um, free ice cream from Moo Moo's in Cold Spring. All right, let's get into the quiz. So, general knowledge round. First general knowledge question is: Which came first, orange the fruit, or orange the color? Which came first? Number two. True or false, Peter Falk, the star of Columbo, made a television appearance in Romania in 1989, urging the people not to riot as a result of the show coming to, the end, to an end. Is that true or false? Peter Falk, star of Columbo, had to make a television appearance in Romania in order to urge people not to riot about the ending of Columbo. Number three. What is the name of the island, also that of a fictional ship, which is divided into the sovereign states of Haiti and the Dominican Republic? What is the name of that island? Number four. Cleopatra had only one great-great-great-great-grandfather, Ptolemy V. Now, normal, non-inbred person has how many great-great-great-great-grandfathers? Cleopatra had one. How many does a non-inbred person have? And number five, general knowledge round. What is the correct response to top of the morning to you? All right, and that's the end of our general knowledge round. Now we move into the connections round, where I give you four seemingly random clues, and you tell me what the hidden connection is. Um, give yourself uh, five points if you get it after one clue, which is pretty amazing. Give yourself three points if you get it after two clues, two points if you get it after three clues, and one point if you've seen all the clues and then you get the thing. Or however many points you think you deserve because it doesn't matter. Um, so anyway, if I gave you, for instance, John, Paul, George, and Scarab, you would tell me that they are all Beatles. That's an example of how to do the quiz. I use that example every week in different variations. I don't know why, maybe I'll come up with another one. Maybe I won't. Okay, number one. Yabby, mud bug, mountain lobster, and crawdad. What connects those four things? All right. Number two, Brad's Drink, Cadabra Incorporated, Drive or Self, Drive Yourself, and Jerry's Guide to the World Wide Web. 
what connects those four clues. Number three. Hamilton. Est, est, est de Montefiasco. St. Louis du Ha Ha. And Westward Ho. What connects those four things? Number four, Sam the Eagle, Yoda, Miss Piggy, and Grover. What connects all of them? And lastly, for the connections round, the Red Planet, Red-breasted robin, red fox, and redhead. Now I know that all four of those have the word red in them, but that's not the connection between those four clues, mostly. Okay, I mean, it's a connection between those four clues, but it's not really what I'm looking for because you could presumably read. If you can't read yet, this is probably not a particularly fun quiz for you. Okay, our final round this week are conundrums. Um, so I'm going to give you um, a, a phrase made out of nine letters, and you're going to tell me um, what that phrase is an anagram for. Okay, so I'll give you the phrase. You figure out, it's scrambled up, what word is it? Okay? You may want to pause this so you can sort of go off. I'm going to go through it fairly quickly, but give it, give it a pause. Unless you're really great at anagrams, and then top of the morning to you. Okay, so number one is or strip. Or strip. You may hear various children in the background um, that we're all quarantined here, so you know. Or strip. Okay, number two is coral moss. Coral moss. Can you figure out the anagram for that one? Everyone's favorite. Urine turf. Urine turf. Next one. Cereal rib. What is that an anagram for? And lastly, nicest sit. Okay, and that's our final one for this week. So you can take this moment if you want more time to pause and figure out the answers and come back to them later, or stick with me and I'll read you the answers to the rest of the quiz. Okay, so going back to the general knowledge round, the first thing I asked you was, answers are coming, spoilers, answers, okay. Uh, the first one I asked you was, which came first, orange the fruit or orange the color? It was um, orange the fruit. In fact, orange the color is named after orange the fruit, famously unrhymable. Um, actually, our earliest use of orange as a color name is in 1502 for clothing purchased for Margaret Tudor, a color name in English at least. Um, number two, I asked you, true or false, did Peter Falk, star of Columbo, make a television appearance in Romania in 1989, urging the people not to riot as a result of the show coming to the end? That was, of course, true. I don't know much about that one, um, but I, apparently Romanians loved Columbo and were sad to see it go. Um, yeah, wholesome, I guess. Um, I don't know if they rioted or not about Columbo. Um, I'll look that up and tell you next week. I don't know if his gesture worked. All right, number three, I asked you, what is the name of the island? Also that of a fictional ship, which is divided into the sovereign states of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. 
and that is Hispaniola. Hispaniola. Uh, number four, I told you that Cleopatra had only one great, 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 great grandfather, Ptolemy V. But how many great, 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 great grandfathers does a normal person not inbred have? And that is to show you how inbred Cleopatra's line was, that is 32. So a normal person will have 32 great, 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 great grandfathers. And lastly, in the general knowledge round, what is the correct response to top of the morning to you? That is, and may the rest of the day be yours. Seems a bit unbalanced, but that's nice. All right, and then we move into the connections round. So what was the connection between these four clues? Yabby, Mudbug, Mountain Lobster, and Crawdad. The answer is that they are all names for crayfish or craw crawfish or crawdad or mudbug, I guess. Yeah. There are other ones too, freshwater lobster. Um, anyway, all crayfish, as we say, in the north. Um, next one, Brad's Drink, Cadabra Incorporated, Driv Yourself, and Jerry's Guide to the World Wide Web. These are all early names for very famous companies. So Brad's Drink is Pepsi. Um, Cadabra Incorporated was the original name for Amazon until somebody misheard it as Cadaver. Um, and Jeff Bezos changed it. Um, drive Yourself, Drive Yourself, but horrible, is a uh, Hertz rent a car. Um, no, just, it was originally Hertz's Drive Yourself um, and then wisely changed to Hertz. Um, and Jerry's Guide to the World Wide Web was Yahoo. Uh, next we had Hamilton, Est F. de Montefiasco, I think that's how you said that, St. Louis du Ha Ha, and Westward Ho. These are all place names with exclamation points in them. Hamilton was Hamilton, Ohio. It tried to rename itself with an exclamation point, and I think officially still has that exclamation point. Although when no map makers would print it, they stopped doing it. Um, Est, Est, Est de Montefiascon is a the proper name of a wine region in France. Um, France? Italy? I'm not sure where. I forgot. Um, St. Louis du Ha Ha is um, uh, in Canada, Quebec. And Westward Ho is a town in England. Next we have Sam the Eagle. Yoda, Miss Piggy, and Grover. And these are all voiced by the same person, Frank Oz. So directed wonderful films like Labyrinth and stuff like that. But yeah, Frank Oz voiced Sam the Eagle, Yoda, Miss Piggy, and Grover. Yoda and Grover have like the same voice. If you listen to it, it's very unnerving. Um, and last one in the connections round, The Red Planet. Red-breasted robin, red fox, and redhead. There was a clue earlier for these one, the, for this one. These are all things that are called red that are actually orange. One of the things about having orange only appear in language as a color name in 1502 is that lots of things that were orange were not then called orange and they were often called red. So the, the red planet is Mars, it's actually orange. Red-breasted robin has an orange belly. Um, the red fox is clearly very orange. Um, and redheads don't have red hair, they have orange hair. Um, my wife and both my daughters have red hair, so. But it's actually orange, it's the thing. Okay, um, now I gave you some conundrums, so um, nine letter phrases that can be um, unscrambled to form a nine letter word. So let's see how you did. Or strip, did you get this one? This is airports. Airports. Next one. Coral moss. It's where our children are all missing 
This is Classroom. Classroom. Another place. I have a one-year-old, so this is where she is most of the time. Urine Turf, um, which it unscrambles to furniture. Furniture. And where do I wish I was right now? If you unscramble cereal rib, you'll find libraries. Libraries. And lastly for this week, nicest sit. That is scientist. Thank you, all you scientists working on treatments and vaccines for um, the pandemic that's keeping us all indoors and enjoying this very quiz. So thank you for joining us this week. Um, we will see you next week, as always, at six o'clock on Wednesday. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, um, wear a mask, and um, be kind to your fellow human beings who also like trivia, um, presumably. And if they don't, be kind to them anyway. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.